Okay, just getting started here. Give me one second, dears. Or like a couple seconds, you know, not go crazy. Turn on some music. Uh, let's see. Alrighty. Turn on my other webcam in just a minute. Just give me all the minutes. All of the minutes. Hmm. It seems that Mesix did not post that I am live. In... Oh, whatever. It's cord. Yeah. Who needs it? Alright, webcam. Whoop, sorry about the earthquake. Getting a little sorted here. Need that. Need that. Could use that. Alright, so in terms of getting sorted, I think I need to bring this webcam closer a little. Give the earthquake. better, right? Cool. I can always zoom in and stuff. Alrighty. So, if anyone wants to tell me how my music to voice ratio is, I'd be much obliged. I guess it helps if I'm talking, haha. -ha. Um I might zoom in on this a little. Well, maybe once I get started. Give some time for shower uppers to show up. It's a minute early. Two minutes early. Two minutes early I has started. So, that's enough time. I'm going to dive right in. So what we're doing today is page 14 of Tracy Queen. Um, as per my typical process, I've taken page 14 script. Well, any, whatever page I'm on, I've taken the script of. Um, checked out the panels, got a cool idea for what's happening. Horizontal panel across the top of the page. Sunlight spills into the living room, revealing Nicola sprawled out on the edge of the couch snoring. Text box, three years earlier, the next morning. Um, panel two, POV shot from Nicola. Um, from Nicola's eyes that they open blearily revealing his perspective of the wreckage from the night before. Wine glasses and bottles, buka coals, water cups, and other detritus litter the coffee table. Um, cell phone is ringing somewhere nearby. Buzz, 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 buzz. Nicola's like, oh, where am I? Panel 3. Phone continues to ring as Nicola's POV zooms out to reveal Tracy passed out with her mouth open and her head thrown back on the back of the couch. Hookah's still in hand, um, sword nearby with her feet propped up on the coffee table. In the harsh light of day, it's clear that she is frighteningly thin. Um, cell phone's still ringing, Nicola's like, oh right, the drugs, uh, and the crazy girl with the sword, shit, I gotta get out of here, panel four. Still more sounds from the phone, Nicola gets up and starts to tiptoe out of the room, 
Um, cell phone sound effect, buzz buzz, Nicola whispering, nice and slow. Eek, sneak, sneak. Um, still more sounds from the phone, Nicola gets up. Oh yeah, I read that. Panel 5. Um, Tracy springs suddenly to life, her wakasashi at the ready. Her hair a mess, her eyes bleary. She looks terrifying. Nicola cowers. Okay, fine, I'm up. Tracy jumping to her feet. Okay, fine, I'm up. What is that fucking noise? So, then what I did... Was I took that... Little... Sl thumbnail... Boogie Boogie... And kind of see, you know, me trying to like... Just get the basic layout, like here's a blob that represents Nicola sleeping on his couch. Here's a, you know, kind of bicameral shape that rec represents his point of view, looking at spilled wine glasses and wine bottle and the hookah on the table. Um, the next panel is him looking over and seeing Tracy passed out on the couch. That blob represents Tracy passed out on the couch. Um, <laughs> And then here's a little, like, cross cut into two panels. There's Nicola sneaking away while Tracy's sleeping on the couch. And then she's springing to life, like, ready to fight. What, what, what? And Nicola's, like, cowering on the floor, like, Oh, God, don't kill me. So, so that's that. Um, then I took that and redrawified it a little bit bigger. Um, so this is drawn at actual comic book scale. And, um, you know, the purpose for that is more just for me to have a little bit better size and, and go over it again, make it a little bit neater. Um, this is at actual size, so I can get my composition like really how I want it to look on page, right? Then I took that and I scanned it in and made it very super duper faint. I don't know if you can even see it, but I printed it out blue line just to give myself a guide so that when I redraw it neater this time, I at least know where everything should be. And so right now, that's what I'm going to begin working on, is the redrawing at full size. Or extra, extra large, so that when I scan it in and reduce it, it'll be extra tight. So, I'm just going to get started on this upper panel. So if anyone is trying to check this out right now, I know I, I put it up on um, Twitter and Facebook and sometimes that shows like a preview window that you can watch through. Um, but the whole thing with that is if you're watching through the preview window, you can't engage in or see my chat and I can't see you. Also, it doesn't count as a view for me, um, which, you know, if you like what you're seeing and you want to support what I'm doing, the view actually is really helpful. Um, so yeah, I encourage you to, to head over to the actual channel itself, uh, twitch.tv slash jaildraco, and log in. Um, and if you need to register, it's totally free. You can use your Facebook credentials to register. Um, and then yeah, you could join in the chat, say hi and whatever. Plus, as you watch, you get drakes, and drakes are a currency system unique to this channel, and um, the more drakes you get, eventually I will be 
doing a couple of things um having like giveaways that you can use you can redeem drakes to join as like a raffle um and possibly i'm working out some kind of system where you can redeem drakes for short um you know commissions or sketches or maybe longer ones if you have like a ton so for every like minute that you're watching me you get for every like five minutes i think you get a a drake perhaps and you can find out how many drakes you have by typing into the chat exclamation mark drakes d-r-a-k-e-s And anybody in the chat, feel free. Og Mud Bone 2017. Holy crap, your mic is so loud that even on 10%, it sounds like max vol volume on heavy metal videos. Can you see me? Hi, Jenny Williamson, how are you? Uh, yeah, sorry, man. Um, Og Mud Bone. Let me lower my mic a little bit then. Um that better for you? Still way loud? Super max volume on heavy metal videos. Sorry about that. Um, didn't mean to frighten anyone. Jenny! Lindsay! Hi everybody. It's like ultra loud. Wow, even with your volume way low. Is anyone else having um, volume issues on my end? Turn down my mic even more. Then I don't want my sound effects to be like way louder than my voice level. Hmm. I guess it's pretty loud. I have my volume turned down so I didn't notice. Jenny says I'm good. Hmm. How's that? Any better? Agmud Bone. Yeah. It's hard to say. Can I just call you Agmud? Is that okay? Or Mudbone? Mudbone might be easier for me to say. If that's alright with you. Um, this is this better? Okay. Well, I'm gonna call you Mudbone if that's alright. Um, yeah, is this better for you and thank you so much for stopping by and thanks for the feedback i really appreciate any chance to you know enhance uh enhance my stuff it's og mudbone okay og right og You can call me Mudbone. Okay, cool. Um, original Gangsta Mudbone, right? Awesome. Um, the music is a bit quieter under the mic. Yeah, I mean, I try to keep the music a little bit quieter. Because um, I don't want to, like, in case someone wants to listen to something else while they're trying to hear what I'm saying. Um, also, I like the hearts. Are those on? Are those hearts on purpose? Yeah, I put them there just for today. I just added them. Cause V-Day, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Oh, so now that there's a few people here, I can <laughs> I can re-go through what I'm doing. Um, so, I took the uh, script from Tracy Queen, page 14. Uh, that, uh, see also, some of the music is louder than others. Run into that little problem. So dreamy with those hearts, thanks. So yeah, here we have a um, the the script for page 14. Um, you guys want me to read it? I can read it if you want, or I can just you know go over the basics. I don't want to like you know I don't want to be all TMI on you guys. Um, but anyway, so based on the script, I just did like a kind of um, a little like super mushy thumbnail drawing like basically representing what I wanted the layout to be 
you know, I erase the heck out of it and like redraw it and it's all gross. Um, and then I took that and redrew it larger on 8.5 by 11. Read it with ultra enthusiasm. All right, I'm gonna try. All right, old guy. Um, original gangster. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess original gangster. Um, I don't know what the OG stands for. Um, Mudbone. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick with Mudbone. It's just easier for me. Sorry. All right. Enthusiasm time. Panel one. Long horizontal panel across the top of the page. Sunlight spills into the living room, revealing Nicola sprawled out on the edge of the couch, snoring. Text box. Three years earlier. Dot dot dot. The next morning. Dot dot dot. Um, my enthusiasm just comes across as weird, by the way, so be prepared. Um, panel two. A POV shot of Nicola's eyes as they open blearily, revealing his perspective of the wreckage from the night before. Wine glasses and bottles, hookah coals, water cups, and other detritus litter the coffee table. A cell phone is ringing somewhere nearby. Cell phone sound effect. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Nicola. Uh, what? Where am I? Panel three. The phone continues to ring as Nicola's POV zooms out to reveal Tracy passed out with her mouth open and her head thrown back on the back of the couch. A hookah stolen hand, sword nearby. Her feet propped up on the coffee table. In the harsh light of day, it's clear that she is frighteningly thin. Cell phone. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Nicola. Ugh, right, the drugs. Nicola. The crazy girl with the sword. Shit, I gotta get out of here. Uh, panel 4. Still more sounds from the phone. Nicola gets up and starts to tiptoe out of the room. Cell phone. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Nicola, nice and slow. Panel 5. Tracy springs suddenly to life, her wakasashi at the ready, her hair a mess, her eyes bleary. She looks terrifying. Nicola cowers. Tracy, okay, fine, I'm up. What the fuck is that fucking noise? So, that's what I, that's what I had. Um, I should totally do voices. I should. <laughs> awesome. I mean, sometimes, I, you know, as an animator, sometimes I have no choice and I end up doing voices. And I just hope no one recognizes me. Ask him to reread it as Golem. Three years earlier, the next morning. Ah, wah, where am I? All right, the drugs, precious, the drugs. The crazy girl with the sword. Shit. I got to get out of here! Nice and slow! <laughs> Golem voice. Alright. Um, so yeah, I redrew that on 8.5 by 11, and that is, uh, this gives me a, com a comic book template that I printed out, so it's at actual comic book size. So when I draw here, I know exactly how the, the layout is actually going to look in printed format, but I do this kind of rough, right? Um, the drugs, precious! Yeah. <laughs> so, I took this and scanned it in, and made it super ultra light blue, and then printed it out on an 11 by 17, so now I can redraw it really, really neat. I know what, where I want everything to be, and that just gives me a chance to, like, do everything more, more detailed. And so it's my third time drawing this. Now I have the ideas a lot more worked out. <laughs> the best thing ever. <laughs> awesome. The drug's precious. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> awesome. Um, where is the precious? It rubs the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again! Yes, precious, it gets the hose! We'll mash up there for you. Alright, so now we've got Nicola sleeping on the couch. I'm gonna make his little tongue hanging out here.
if you guys want to, I'll zoom in a little bit um, while I'm drawing on those top panels, and then I can move the camera down. Um, is that a raccoon ass? Come on, fingers? <laughs> I mean, the disembodied... I'm enjoying the semi, semi-bodied, semi embodied leg and tail. Whoa, I mean the disembodied leg and tail. Um, so I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, so how's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody's day going? been like day-ish. Day-ish. Oh. I relate. I too have had a day. Yeah, I haven't not had a day. So, normally on my Tuesday night streams, I do, um, I do like, two uh, page drawings, the actual line art, and then on my Thursday night streams, I'll color them both in. Um, as it turns out, page 13 is a reuse of a page from the original eight page sample I did. Um, it would be hilarious if the stream had palm music like that for over an hour, then suddenly, really explicit rap song, right? Just like a long rope -a dope It's the long car, long that, the long con. Um, J squared. Hi, how are you? This is oddly mesmerizing. Awesome. I aim to mesmerize. Ah, uh, Mudbone. Thanks so much. That's awesome. I really appreciate the follow. That's great. Oddly mesmerizing. That's my aim. Mudbone, I hope that you um, continue to enjoy. I hope that I hope you find this all entertaining. I'll do my best. Um, so yeah, I, I was just gonna finish up saying what I what my stream is all about. Um, J squared is good. <laughs> like death metal after an hour. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so so yeah. Um, Tuesdays I do like the, the penciling when I'm at when I'm working on a comic book. So I have three projects going on. It's Tracy Queen, um, which is a graphic novel, Pack, which is a comic book, and Children of Gaia, which is kind of um it's more of like a franchise of stories. Um or like a series, I guess. So Children of Gaia stuff might be different from project to project, but it's usually like art books more like illustration-y, um, not necessarily like sequential illustration though, more like just illustrated pages accompanying text. Um, but anyway, so I usually do like two pages a week. 
of whatever project I'm on that week. Um, and I alternate in order. N Nightbot, pat pat. <laughs> <coughs> what is Nightbot saying? Oh, yeah. Or Nightbot. It's kind of like always a day late and a dollar short. It was really good when for a while I had um, Nightbot and Drunkbot interacting. That was really fun, but then something in the code changed. Listen. Jenny frickin' Williamson, thanks for the follow! I really appreciate it. I hope I continue to entertain. Jeez, Nightbot, slow your roll. <laughs> yeah. Drunkbot's just, like, informative. Yeah. <laughs> Nightbot gets eager. It was really cool when I had them interacting, but then something in Nightbot's code was changed, and now Drunkbot can't get a rise out of Nightbot, like, no matter what he says or does. Kind of a bummer. Ah, I keep breaking my pencil, why? Oh, okay, cool, I'm being trolled. That's awesome. Um, that was a troll follow. Sweet. Not cool at all. Um, yeah, that account is probably gonna have to get ported and whatever. Lame. So, yeah, actually someone pointed out to me how essentially, like, Trolling on the internet is like the equivalent of what we used to do back in the day, like when we were little kids, like, you know, 12 years old or whatever, and we were hanging out and no parents were around, we'd be like, you wanna go to the phone book and make prank calls? He 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 he. You know, kind of think like modern internet trolling is basically just like an equivalent of that, you know? It's probably just some, some kids who or on the internet with no parents around. We're not gonna let that fluster us. Not one bit. Um, yeah, that's really not cool, that name. Um, and I think... Oh, yeah, that person got banned. Cool. Or purged. Now there's Twitch trolling. Right, exactly. Instead of, like... You know, Ugh. instead of uh, prank calls on telephone, you know, telephone books. Nobody feed the trolls. Your, your first troll. No, I've been trolled before, actually. Um, hasn't been in a while, though. Sorry. Wasn't my first rodeo. Generally, I try to... Um, like, if someone's just, you know, being kind of snarky or like a little on the meanish side I give them a a chance to like cool down but you know creating a profile that is specifically about my name with like hate speech involved I mean that's definitely like not cool not okay like that's gonna get reported and your IP will be banned, and it's just not cool. 
Hate speech is not cool. I, that's definitely one thing that I will not tolerate. I wish I had wine. Ugh, why don't you have wine? Why? Yeah, that's crap. That's just not okay. I mean, like, you know, sometimes you think someone's a troll because, like, they're just kind of being jerky, but, like, then you realize, like, some people are just jerks and they don't really realize they're being jerks necessarily. Like, there is some cases when, like, maybe it's a troll or maybe it's just someone with not a really funny sense of humor or they think they're being funny, but it's just, like, in poor taste. And, you know, sometimes people like that can be reasoned with. But, like, somebody who's going to make jokes about, like, hate speech, like, that's not... Not funny. Not funny, not cool. Kind of just lame. I feel like I was explaining something before and then just totally forgot what it was. Um, I got distracted by that. <laughs> we'll get some fireball and drink it. Wife says good. Um, wife says good about getting fireball and drinking it. <laughs> what I have is a teensy, teensy bottle of Jim Bean Kentucky Fire. Ooh. Oh, jail. They're just trolling because they're jealous. Yeah, I guess so. Probably not even, though. I mean, it's... I'm gonna just assume that, like, when people are trolling like that, that they're just 12, you know? They're just, like, being what they think of as silly about words that they don't understand. You know, like, a lot of times it's just people saying things that they don't even... They don't have the life experience to, like, understand why it's hurtful. They just know, like, ooh, I'm, I'm 12 and I had power over an adult. You know, like, whatever, you know. That's how I usually think of it. Or, like, maybe they are an adult and they're just, you know, seriously have, like, mental issues. Like, okay, I'm not gonna get mad at someone for having, like, emotional or, or mental, you know, issues. Like, whatevs. But I need to remind myself not to get mad. Me reminding myself out loud over and over again is because I'm bringing back some little bit of, like, spite, you know? Jealous of the elite art skills? J Squared has the art skills. J Squared did an awesome, awesome, um, guest art piece of Tracy Queen, which, uh, we're still, you know, figuring out, like, what the appropriate thing to do with it is, um... But hopefully, you know, we'll be either putting that, like... J... Jail get... Bird kicked out the child? What? Oh. Hey. Alright, yep, somebody is hardcore trolling me. What is that about? Hmm. Hit it with the band hammer. Yeah. So, ah, permanent ban. So, whoever it is, is just going to come back with uh, probably some other stupid name from some other stupid email. Whatever. I'm not going to worry too much about that.
So I'm doing a little Nikola POV. It'd be nice if some of those followers were like legit follows, you know? <laughs> and we got a couple. We got a couple that were legit. That's awesome. Yeah, see, now now Nightbot is trying to mess with Drunkbot, and Drunkbot's not responding. So something happened where, like, the bots were, I guess, got an update that, like, I don't know, prevents them from interacting with each other somehow? Ban. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, it's weird. Sometimes you burn ban someone and they still show up as in your viewers list, but that's because the viewers list like doesn't update immediately. just disruptive you know it like messes with my mood and then like I'm trying to kind of get back into funsies and like have a good time with you all trying not to be all frazzled by it but it's like a little just upsetting you know, it's annoying that people are just dicks oh well what are you gonna do Okay, really, really awesome. Super funny. Someone is like brilliant. What? Is this like preschool? Happens, no biggie. Tomorrow my new PC comes. Awesome. I've never been trolled like this before. Anywho, uh, sorry everybody, my computer just gave up completely on me, and I had to restart everything. And he says, "Yo, people are dicks. We love your face. Awesome, thanks. I appreciate that." I'll snap out of it. Not gonna let that fuck up my mood. Not gonna let it.
I do know a few people that that's happened to, and it seems pretty unrelated, you know, it's just... That's someone's bag to go around doing that. Only famous people get trolled. Uh, if only that was true. Trolling is a sign of notoriety. Um... Which will ban the IP soon. Ah, uh, yeah. Specifically, I love your face. Ah, oh, I love your face. Look at all these hearts. That's me loving your face, although I can't see it, so... Or can I? Lots of face love. Lots of face love. So yeah, oh right, that's what I was saying before. Um, so page 13, which I'd normally be doing page 13 and 14 right now, except page 13 was already done in our um, ban that last iteration reporting all the accounts. Awesome, thank you. Could have just said no bro. <laughs> Jill, I asked you to be my bro in time and you ignored me in Stevie's room. Oh, I, I'm sorry, J Squared. I'll totally be your bro in time. All right, we're bro in times now. Um, no, I just didn't see it. Uh, while I was, like, doing five other things while Stevie was streaming before. So I was kind of, like, multitasking slash lurking on her stream. Um, so, yeah, I just didn't see it. Sorry. Jokes. Yeah, it's probably just like a ten year old or something. Like, that's. No intelligent person would be saying things like that. Not even remotely. But, like, dude, where the fuck are your parents? You know, like, if you're immature enough to make jokes like that, like, you're not mature enough to be using a computer unsupervised, you know? It's not cool! The next time I get a follow notification, I'm gonna be like, fuck you! And it's gonna be like someone that's like legitimately following, and I'm gonna be like, oh, snap, sorry. Uh oh. Uh oh, no politics in the chat room. But you're probably right. You're probably right. Yeah, the stream, it's... Mm. 
I would never make racist remarks toward anyone. That's absurd. Meh. Troll with troll. The Eggman! How are you? Yeah, whoever that was is definitely full of shit. I mean, I'm sure it was just like random, you know, came across my channel and they're just trying to bluster me. No one be flustered by it. Do not feed the trolls. I might have said some like, <laughs> nice art by the way, thank you. I might have said some like, anti Nazi or like anti-hate speech stuff on Facebook that could have pissed someone off, but I definitely, that's like a few, a small example of like people that I don't mind pissing off, you know, um, but chances are it's just a random troll and I just don't want to give it too much attention. Eggman! Tracy Queen! Hello! Hello, darling! You're okay? Oh, that's cool. It's better than being like terrible. Um, I wish you were great. Hey, am I a mod? I want to take my mod skills out on some peeps. Uh, Tracy, you are in fact a mod. About to go troll hunting. <laughs> Tracy is both an editor of Unkbot and a mod of the channel. Get him, I am the Eggman. So this panel is gonna be... I think what I'm gonna do is have like everything above here still just be like the couch in the living room and everything below here be the living room from this panel's perspective and the actual like eye shape is going to be the border itself and I might make it like kind of hazy like around the edges and like reddish like bloodshot maybe some like veinies maybe a little blurry like blurry and hazy around the edges you know so like this is like Nicola just waking up and this is the first thing he sees is the tip of his own nose his own knuckles and like just all the wreckage in front of him.
Tracy Queen is my art girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, so J Square did that awesome image of uh, Tracy Queen. Actually, J Square, do you have a a link of it? Like, is it anywhere that you could link to? I think you're a regular, so I don't think you need a permit for links. Oh, Nightbot. I don't know, I'm kind of hesitant to, like, fix up Nightbot, though, because I think there is something cute about how terrible Nightbot is. Is that, is that wrong? Uh, here we go. Tracy is a dumbass. <laughs> Listen. Oh, someone is really lonely on Valentine's Day and not very good at making jokes. Not very good at making jokes, and very lonely, and... I mean, I have a huge crush on Tracy, don't tell her. It's... Shh. Oh, actually, um, so yeah. Ugh. I keep coming back to this explanation and not finishing it. So right, today I only am doing page 14 because page 13 was already finished in our 8 page sample, which was just a bunch of random pages taken from the book. As it turns out, one of those pages was page 13, so that page is already done. Today I'm just doing page 14, but, so this can either be a short stream where I just draw this one page, or I can do like a little you know, just impromptu extra bonus, you know, thing. I wish I could slime Tracy. Hmm. Slime? I mean... Not sure what you mean by that. Um... But she is a fictional character with real world powers and properties. And um she might be picky. Alright, so J Squared posted a link to his, uh, this is, so this is J Squared's, um, fan art, or guest art, you know, illustration of Tracy and Nicola with the uh, Howie Blob, and the Howie Blob is kind of a very rudimentary attempt at making a clone cyborg. Well, it was a rudimentary attempt at making a clone that kind of failed, so Tracy made the clone into a cyborg, um, but here the cyborg clone Howie Blob seems to have a bit of indigestion. And so Tracy and Nicola are both wearing their gas masks um, to help cope with that. And you can tell by Nicola's posture, he's not too stoked about it. Very cute piece, I love it. It's really well done. Radiation proof leather bra.
Jail, how often do you wear gas masks? Lol, I'm starting to believe that first troll username. Ah, uh, Mudbone. Are you trolling? That's... I hope you're not. These don't be. Yes, yes you are trolling. Alright guys, there's enough trolls out there to go around. Let's not add to it. Everybody just calm down. This is a chill place. The chill stream. Chill people. Just enjoy some chill times. Is recording everything. Hmm. Wait, were you those other usernames, Mudbone? Baby? That's not cool. I was really hoping you'd be uh, another chill person, because, you know, the great, great community, and, um, you know, a lot of us have made a lot of really good friends through Twitch, and, and, just, shame, real shame if you can't, like, Actually, just be chill and be friends with people. It's also really not cool to, like, try to upset people on purpose. I've been working on my bots. Yeah, um... I mean, I haven't done a really good job with my bots, but I've been trying. Um, 
why is there hearts around your face? Because it's Valentine's Day. Uh, what's up, rename card? How you doing? Hi, Hulk Hopper. Um, hmm. Tracy, I don't know. Not sure. Forget about Valentine's Day all the time. No worries. How are you doing tonight? Welcome, welcome to the channel. I am JL. I'm working on um, a page from a graphic novel, Tracy Queen, right now. Um, actually, so. What time is it? 6 30. I might go on like a little short five minute break um, in just a couple minutes. And when I do, I put on a little video that shows my reel, my animation reel. Hi! Um, it shows my animation reel and then also like a little um, info video about Oneshi Press and what we do. So, yeah, if you feel like it, you stick around for that, you'll get a little bit better of an idea of what's going on here. Um, I'm working on uh, some line art from Tracy Queen, which is one of our three current Oneshi Press projects. This is a graphic novel. J squared says, Tracy, I only draw you with no without pants. Well, I mean, here she's wearing, what do you call it? Um, leggings, does that count? Are leggings pants? I do spend quite a lot of time without pants on. Yeah, don't the best of us. Um, it's tomorrow here in Australia. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. Oh, right, right. Um, well, happy tomorrow. I wonder what the future is like. Do you have flying cars yet? Oh, thank you. The future is terrifying. Yeah, I've heard that. Um, I've imagined the future to be terrifying. The smiley faces are weird on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's different ones too. Um, there's a plugin called Better Twitch TV. For, um, I think they have it for both Chrome and Firefox, but I don't think it works as well for Firefox for some reason, but on Chrome, um, you can, like, choose different emotes, um, smiley faces, whatever. Listen. Hey, what's up with those smiley faces? Original Gangsta 111 followed jail. Hooray! So I wonder if this is OG Mudbone from before, um, now signed in as Original Gangsta? Or is this someone new to the channel? I don't want to be like on edge and thinking that people are different people. Maybe you're someone I've never talked to before. Um, anyway, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Been an interesting night. OG Mudbone? Okay. Alright, so you're the same same person. So you've got some kind of 
way of generating probably virtual IP addresses and you're alternating and using newly generated emails to have multiple signups, right? Something fun like that. I would love to know why. Can't troll anymore because Twitch banned my IP. Um, I just use the incognito tab and 10 minute mail. Yeah. Why though? Like, I just wonder, like, what do you get out of that? like a lot of effort to like talk to people who would just really talk to you without all that and without having to like upset them and annoy them A lot of streamers get extra butt hurt. I only troll the ones with less than 30 people. Hmm. Clearly, someone has nothing else to do on Valentine's Day. Yeah, don't troll people. Yeah, it's not very nice. Um, some people get butt hurt because they really actually are scared and like don't understand what's happening or if it's like legit or just a, a joke with you know not very cool, or not very nice sense of humor, you know what I mean, like... It takes a lot of self-assuredness and a lot of confidence to not get butt hurt by it, and... You know, not everybody has that. I mean, again, like, I, I legitimately would just, I'm curious, I would love to know, like, like, what goes on, you know, in your mind when you're doing that. Like, I would, I would actually really like to know, like, if you have a reasoning for it, or if it's just, like, a compulsion. record videos and show my friends the good ones. Um, really popular because I get the good reactions. Make it a character concept called the troll. You must have terrible friends. Hmm.
Yeah, ni 19 is an interesting age. I do remember being 19. I remember having a lot of, you know, just hard time with life where, for where I was at, things I was going through. I remember being pretty angry and feeling pretty disempowered in a lot of ways. Um, and I personally probably did a lot of things to, to feel like I have some kind of like power and effect over other people. Uh, looking back, you know, I might not have done if I had really thought about it. You know, I think a lot of people get really upset because they're just trying to do something that they're scared to do anyway, and that they care about, and it matters a lot to them. Um, and if you've never been in that situation where you're trying to do something that you really care about, that matters a lot to you, that you're scared to do, that's a shame. I think everyone should find something that makes them feel that way. Um, in real life, trolling people doesn't fly because you can be easily identified. It's pretty much, it feels safer behind the screen where they can feel a bit confident just for a while. But they forget, after a long time, the people on the other side of the internet are real people. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true, I mean... I don't know, um, and I don't want to make assumptions, but some people also just legitimately have, like... Um, you know... Emotional or mental issues. Um, you know, things that are beyond my ability to talk fairly about. Uh, for those people, I hope they get the help they need. And for everyone else who they upset, you know, I hope they get the help they need. Because it's not fair to other people who are just, like, really trying to do their thing. Will Jail is actually a superhero, but he's also a person. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll be a person if I have to be. So I learned something, I learned that for some people trolling is sport and actually trophy hunting. It's interesting. Adding identity is boring. So anywho, um, so I was thinking because I'm going to be doing uh, page 14 because 13 is already done, I can either make this a short stream, which I guess, you know, when I'm done with this page, depending on how many people are still, you know, in the chat, still watching, whatever, you know, and how it's going. Um, either make it a short stream or do something impromptu you know um just whatever like a little quick tracy queen you know spur of the moment illustration kind of thing um but hmm badminton that's a fun fun pastime actually really like badminton
I never used to like it, but... I don't know, some, at some point, like... Chris and I got really, really into training with our Boken. And we would spar, like, pretty regularly and pretty hardcore, like, with our Oak Boken. And I remember, like, one day in gym class, like, after, like, sparring with Crystal really late at night, I just, like, held the badminton racket like it was a Boken, and I was like, Oh, snap, if I pretend this is a Boken, I can totally do this. And then I got into it, and I started having a lot of fun. I guess, like, my brain just kind of equated it to sports. And for some reason, I just had, like, a disconnect where I just didn't enjoy sports. Um, probably just because of, like, the socialized competition thing I didn't, I wasn't into. You know, not that there's anything, like, wrong with it. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Um, but when I started taking it as, like, personal, like, training, honing my, honing my personal skills... All of a sudden, I like really liked it, and I was like really into it. How do you spar with bows? No, not bows. Bow Ken. So, uh, Bow Ken. Uh, I could show you. Well, you know what? I'm about to take my next break. I think in like one minute, I'm gonna start my break. But before I head up to take a break, I'll show you one of my bow. My bleh. Can't talk. I'll show you one of my Bow Ken, which literally just translates in Japanese to wood sword. Um. So, Boken is, yeah, a Japanese wooden sword. What the fuck, you will get arrows in each other. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, like kendo. Yeah, exactly. That's where um, kendo comes from. Do meaning the way, ken meaning sword. Bo ken meaning wood sword. Bo meaning wood. It's like a big stick. Uh, yes, a, a sword-shaped stick. Only, well, yeah, I think a stick would actually imply that it came from a branch, whereas bo ken are actually carved um, from... A piece of wood from the trunk. Um, so I guess it's not really a stick. But you could use a stick in a bind. Yes, lol. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be actually. Hmm, sparring with bows. <laughs> Have I ever tried that? I don't think so. Would I ever try that? Maybe? If I had, like, Blunt, blunted arrows? Like, maybe? Maybe I would try that. Like if they just had like bean bags on the end or something? Which would probably still hurt like a bitch, but probably not kill you? Whole copper says, "Yeah, I thought you said it was with, with bows. Yeah, no, that would be funny though. No, they would they would go through the bean bag or sandbag, um, dart guns maybe, like foam dart guns. 
But actually, I did spar- uh, I guess you wouldn't even call it sparring. I did get into a head-to-head -head with um, dart guns before. Like, blow guns that shoot little darts. And yeah, we ended up shooting each other with quite a few darts. They don't really hurt that bad. Um, I must onward into the sunset. Alright, Jenny, well, thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, snap, Jenny, before you leave, are you still here? Oh, we are still here. Um, still there? You miss it? Jenny, you subscribe to our our Patreon. Um, I don't remember at what level. Um, but you also, you get, I think it was the $5 level? I, oh no, you're leaving. Okay, well I was gonna say, you get a 15 minute um, drawing on the live stream. But we can make plans sometime for that, and we can figure out when you're when you're available. Um, if you were sticking around tonight, I'd say I could do that in a bit when I'm done with this page, but some other time then. Have a good night, thank you so much for stopping by. You're still here? Okay. So there's a lag between um, what I'm saying it and when you're hearing it. So then you write back, and then I read it, like, you know, almost a minute later. I'm lagging bad. <laughs> just as I said that, I just saw J squared said he's lagging. We could do that anytime. It was a five dollar level? Yeah. Um I do let us do this. You do, of course you do. Um whenever. We can figure it out, you know, some other time if it's better for you. Or if you want I could set up a stream time specifically around when we're both available and do it then. Or if you have to go now and you want to come back later, or whatever, you know, just let me know. Um, you want to think about it? Okay. Yeah, so for 15 minutes, um, you know, it might have to be something of a simplified idea. And if I decide to, I might, you know, go longer than 15 minutes with it, but... Anyway, we'll talk about it between now and then. Have a great night, Jenny. Thank you so much. So, let's see, it's 6.51 by me, um, I think at 7 I'm going to take a break. No, let me just reach over, I'll show you these bouquet now. Love you, peace out. Alright, so this. I don't know if you guys can see this okay. This is a Wakasashi Boken. So this Wakasashi is like the next size down from Katana. In a in the average set, the the tip to pommel of a Wakasashi, pommel tip, would be the length of the blade of the katana that goes in that set. And then Usually, the length of the blade of the wakasashi would be the pommel to tip of the tanto of that set. And then, the tip to pommel of a katana would be the length of the nodachi of that set, or the daikatana. Um, I believe daikatana are more curved than a nodachi. And so, this is um, my katana boken. 
one of many. Um, there's a couple nicks on it, but this one's actually pretty newish. Hasn't been used that many times. Um, as they get used, like the fronts of them just start to, to break and break and break until eventually it just, you know, breaks in half and you have to buy a new ones. So, yep. You guys see it okay? That's what I was talking about. Those are the Boken that I was sparring with. And I really, 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 really do not advise sparring with, um, with blowgun darts. It's just not a good idea. Don't advise it. And I definitely don't advise sparring with bow and arrows. I mean, I've never done it before. Again, maybe like a nerf bow and arrow or something. Um. That's what I use. Yep, that's what Tracy uses. Your hair is luxurious. Thanks. Blunt tipped arrows. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I've seen ones that have just, like, actually, like, you know, like a flat head on the top. Like, you know, like something like that. Or just, like, thunk, you know, with, like, the arrow coming out of it kind of thing. Uh, it would be like that. I mean, even that, though, like, high velocity hitting you, it would leave a bruise. It would hurt. And if it got you, like, you know. There's a couple places that if it got you, would get you. Get you real bad. So I'm worried this panel is supposed to be very funny, but I also don't want it to come out like just looking awful, which is supposed to be like snoring and I feel like kind of cartoony about it. Like a real like serious, just like, you know, like, it's like, it's really hard to make that feel like the kind of, you know, fun that you want it to be without just going like way overboard but then like if you try to make it too realistic it like doesn't convey enough of that like that juice you know what i mean so i'm not gonna do this light and be prepared to erase
Um, so me being in here is good for you in some way. You will know you are in the test if you have a purple circle next to brows. Oh yeah, yeah. Weird. Um, I've gotten that a few times where Twitch just says like the little purple circle and when you mouse over it, it says like click brows to see what you're being tested with or whatever. Really weird. It's very vague. It doesn't actually like explain anything, right? Like about what it is they're doing. Just says that they're like testing it. Your account has been chosen. Uh oh, Jay, maybe you're good for me. Or maybe I'm bad for you. Maybe they're on to you. Maybe it's Skynet. It's the mystery test. You have a purple circle too? Oh. This one involves probes. No! No! Not the probes! It says click browse to see what you are testing, and then there's nothing. Right, that's exactly what happened to me, so maybe the next probe you will get it. You don't say. Um, I don't see what the problem is with probing personally, as long as it's consensual. Right, as long as it's consensual, that's the operative part. I don't want no probing without my say so. wonder, when you get follows from someone who you've banned and their account was deleted, does it still count as getting follows? Not that it matters, I mean like honestly I'd rather have people, like actual people in my chat. It just all of a sudden popped in my head and I was like I wonder. I found out what the browse thing he does, yeah I know, me too, it doesn't it doesn't tell you, it never tells you. I've had that happen to me, I swear, like, no matter what, it just doesn't tell you. And it says, like, click browse to find out, and then you click it and just nothing happens. It's really annoying. I think it's happened to me, like, two or maybe even three times. Where I was just like watching someone's channel and then it told me I'm like part of a special test or whatever 
I uh, forgot exactly what the language was, but you said it before, um, Hulk Hopper. Whatever you wrote before, like, I've gotten exactly that, and then it just didn't tell me what the test was. Maybe it's a test to see how you deal with other people trolling. Hopefully I passed. Go re-follow me, um, counts your fellows, yep. Okay. Oh, the follower number has gone down. It was 122 for a while. Aw. I'll follow you two times? Jay, you can't do that. Unless you have a secret account. Oh no, Jay, you're not a troll, are you? Don't be a troll, Jay. It can't be. I won't accept it. Unless you're just gonna defollow me just to refollow me. But I don't think that really helps. read the script right. I think it says by the light of day we're supposed to see how skinny she is. But at this point she's still working for her grandfather, which means she's still getting an allowance for food. Nah man, I'd feel bad. She press would not think highly of me. That's true. We don't, we don't abide trolls. We don't get too razzled by them, but we don't abide them. I get the feeling Hulk Hopper tried to figure out what the browse thing does and ended up leaving the channel. Tracy, what point in your story are we at? Well, you just met Nicola while guarding your warehouse, so clearly you're still working for Grandfather. So are you like just skinny because like it's just your way at this point or are you like extra skinny because you're already running out of money I mean I don't want to overdo it I was getting an allowance for food but I hadn't been eating because of my boyfriend breaking up with me right okay real dumb and I'm not proud of it he probably got the probe oh no the probe hey don't be so anti-proof
seems like I'll go I'll go back just get a drawing in jail we'll be drawing the mystery proof The mystery probe. Oh, the mystical probe. Magic probe. The magic bus, right? Oh, the magic probe. I think in Photoshop I might fix her face up a little bit, I might like tilt her head back even more and, you know, just kinda exaggerate that like thing that she's doing. Alright. Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to take a break like ten minutes ago. Uh I'm gonna do that right now. Alright, see you all in a bit. Editor and co-founder of Oneshi Press. Hi, I'm JL Draco. I'm the illustrator, designer, and co-founder of Oneshi Press. Oneshi Press is an independent publisher of progressive, immersive, gorgeous books in print and digital formats. To start with, we'll be keeping three original concepts in production. Our first three are a graphic novel, a comic book, and an art book. Tracy Queen. Tracy Queen is a feminist, sex-positive, sci-fi graphic novel about a self-made porn star named Tracy. Who fights her way free of her grandfather's organized crime syndicate, only to get caught up in the porn industry politics and gang warfare. The fiercely independent, brilliant Tracy decides to fight her battles on her own terms. With the help of her best friend, a talking raccoon who happens to be an electrical engineer, she creates an army of cyborg clones to help her fight back against the forces of conformity, sexual repression, and evil. Pack. Our gritty vigilante comic book with a surprisingly humane heart, Pack tells the story of a masked crime fighter named Patience. And the six dogs with whom he roams the dark streets of crime-ridden Brooklyn. Together as a pack, these ruthless vigilantes sniff out corruption and deliver their own bloody form of justice to those who they decide deserve it. They put crime under the fang. The Great Nations of Rendaria. The Great Nations of Rendaria, our first art book, 
is an introduction to the vast fantasy universe that Oneshi Press is helping to create. This book serves as both backstory and introduction to a diverse, intricate universe in which its narrator, Jen Kazian, has become obsessed with preserving the memories of the greatest civilizations his world has ever known. The Great Nations of Rendaria is both a book in its own right as well as an artifact from the larger story, Children of Gaia. Oneshi Press is creating a community of fans who enjoy progressive and immersive worlds like the ones that we're building, and we want to invite you to join us. We're using Patreon, a subscription-based crowdfunding platform, to accept support from fans who love gorgeous books and to give them rewards in return for their support. Our supporters can opt in to receive all kinds of goodies when they become part of the Oneshi community. Personalized letters and selfies from characters, 3D drawings, even cameos in our books. And access to exclusive works in progress as work continues on all of our projects. One of our favorite rewards, which is made possible by our patrons, is the weekly live stream during which JL streams live on Twitch TV as he creates art for our projects. Join me live every Tuesday night to watch me create art and to chat with me and other Aneshi Press fans and supporters. Watch in real time as the art takes shape. At Oneshi Press, we build immersive, progressive, gorgeous worlds. And you're invited to explore them. Come join us. You good about it? Yeah. We love you. You're so cool. Thank you. What? What did I miss? Guys. Twitch probe for Nightbot? I missed the Twitch probe for Nightbot? Wait, what? What happened? Amazing. Ah, oh, no way. Wait, what? Tell me, what happened? Tracy, tell me what happened. What did I miss? <laughs> he loves me, then he leaves me. Who, Nightbot? And he says, don't talk to me. <laughs> oh, Nightbot is a huge mean pants. <laughs> he likes the chase, Jay. Likes the chase.
Dang tip jar. What's wrong with the tip jar? Is Squarb subscribed to Patreon? Whoa, beyond tip jar. That is like mega beyond tip jar. Why don't I have a notification in my freaking chat? Why? Your name card says looking good, man. Thanks for name card. Um. Major app. Major app. How do I say that? Thank you so much for the follow. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. Majope? Been meaning to, just been lazy. Dude, so, oh, that's so awesome. Thank you so much, J Squared. That is amazing. Um, I'm sorry that I missed the notification. I, did it happen like right as I went outside? Um, was it a good notification? All right, so, um, you can whisper me since I didn't get the notification of what your subscription level was. So the way it works is you'll get, um, well, you know how it works, right? You get a drawing. You waited till I left. Aw. Aw, thank you so much, dude. That is so awesome. Well, we'll be getting you regular rewards, um, and you can get, you know, full-size downloads of all of the pieces as they come out, um, and prints, and, you know, all the good stuff. Um, and now, now you're a subscriber, so... That's awesome. I'm gonna work on some kind of, um, I don't know. I'm gonna make you a thing where you get like more drakes also. I just have to figure out how to work out that currency difference in Punkbot. Drunkbot. Um, but I'll, I'll figure that out and I'll just update it manually after the stream. Well, no, I mean for the prints that will just will send you but um and maybe like we'll figure out i think what we're gonna do is give pdfs uh downloads of our books and then you can still buy like an actual hard copy of the book support the arts that's so awesome so yeah as soon as i'm done as soon as I'm done with this, but why didn't... How come it didn't show up in the chat for what... Guess I gotta fix all the things! No one's actually ever subscribed before while I was on stream, so I didn't realize that it wouldn't, like, also say something in the chat. Thought it would. But I'm glad to know at least that my, um, Muxy alerts or whatever are working. Working ish. The ally one? Okay, cool. Awesome. Sweet. So that I think is for ally, it's um, you get a half an hour commission on stream of whatever you want, as long as it's, you know, within Twitch guidelines like no you know no nudity or, or anything like that but if you want something that I can't do on Twitch I can do like a personal um, like a Skype call and just like share my screen with you or something um, you could figure that out but I think it's kind of fun to be able to like do it on stream um, as a subscription reward May have did it two times? Uh-oh. You are doing the Twitch probe! Okay, so you want me to draw the Twitch probe? Half an hour. I have a half an hour to draw the Twitch probe. Alright, when I'm done with this page, I will draw you the Twitch probe. Hmm. You have till I'm finished with this page. To change your mind, or that's what I'm drawing you? 
doing it. Can't come back from the Twitch probe. <laughs> All right, it's final. You want that um, digital? Or like, like I could do like a Wacom drawing of it, or I could do it on um, actual paper, like sketch. I'm comfortable either way, so it's just, you know, depending on what you would like to see. It's your commission. to you however you like your probes lol 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 this has to be done Tracy it has to be <laughs> right well now it has to be snore treat the real snore in there if you guys can see this okay I know I'm like leaning right over it so microwave popcorn will kill you mm. they're like some kind of thing I don't know about with microwave popcorn like a microwave popcorn conspiracy or something it's bad for you 
like, soaked with chemicals. But it's so delicious. I read something about microwave popcorn on Facehole that was saying how bad it is. Um... It's so delicious. Kills the queen. Oh, microwave popcorn. Say it isn't so. X Cat Darkness. Hello. Oh, whoa. Did you you hosted? Whoa, awesome. Thank you for the host. I really appreciate it. How's it going? Um, why didn't the alert go off, I wonder? What is going on with these alerts? Bye! Streamlab alerts, why have you forsaken me? Thank you so much for the hope, though. Uh, the Thank you so much for the host. I don't know why my alert didn't go off. Weird. Uh, just finished a new demon lady drawing. Awesome. Do you have a link? Do you want to post it? You want to share? You want to share? You don't have to. No pressure. But we all love demon lady drawings. Was that something you did on stream? You'll link when it's up? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, no pressure. I mean, it's just if you want to, you know. Oh, it's exporting now. Awesome. Cool. Nice. You just finished your stream and, and popped over here to say hi? That's awesome. Thank you. How'd your stream go? Peer pressure. Um. Fairly quiet as normal, but it was fun. Um, it was only on for about two hours, but still happy with what I made. Awesome. I do art every day, slowly and slowly getting better. That's how to do it. I mean, if you love it, if you really love making art, right, you're just going to do it all the time. If you do it all the time, you're just going to get better, right? Yeah, and I mean, you know, I usually have rather small, like, amount of people watching, um, but that's cool, I mean, they're great people, I have a lot of fun usually, I mean, I always have a lot of fun, um, but you know, like, also getting, like, I feel like for me personally, having like a stream schedule, um, and sticking to it, and like just getting something done when I stream, is just like a way of, um, guaranteeing that I will have a production schedule, you know? It's like, it forces me to, like, get things done in a, you know, scheduled time. And it's just a fun experience and a fun chance to, like, have a reason to, to push myself, you know? 
We were getting trolled earlier. That was kind of harsh. But I think I handled it well. Right, guys? Handled it as best I could, anyway. Not so great. I rage quiet all the time. Nah, dude, J Squared is awesome. J Squared makes really awesome art. He's a great streamer. Um, I encourage anyone here to follow J Squared for sure. Trolled? Yeah, totally trolled. Um, the whole daily working thing has been very good for me. Yeah, I totally agree. I think it's like such a great practice for. I, I think anyone, no matter what skill level you're at, like, whether you're a beginner or a master, like, you should try to make something every day. Or, like, be creative every day. Something. You know, like, maybe, okay, a day goes by that you can't draw, but you can, like, write down an idea for a drawing or something. But ideally, drawing every day or, you know, whatever your craft is. I think, that's my opinion. I feel like it's like a muscle, you know, you have to like... You enhance your stamina through practice. Oh cool, that's a link. Golem emote here. <laughs> Jail Draco Precious. Jail Draco Precious? Whoa, awesome. Cool stuff. Is this, um, did you do this with a Wacom or? Or what? Is that traditional watercolor? Uh, it looks like, I think Wacom, right? Like Photoshop, maybe? Wacom into us pro? Cool. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Great work. Um, Gimp is so good. Yep. Oh yeah. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about Gimp. I've also heard a lot of good things about Clip Studio. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like Clip Studio has awesome line work. Yeah, thanks for sharing, XCAT. That's really cool of you. There's Nicola trying to sneak away from Tracy while she's sleeping. Is he's scared out of his mind by her. I'm gonna move my camera over a little bit because it looks like the chat is getting right up in, into the drawing. That would be better. I 
I feel like the pose in this panel is a little tricky. I didn't quite work it out as well as I often try to. A little box elder beetle. Hello, box elder beetle. Please get off my finger so I can keep drawing without squishing you. Eat your beetles. I'm saving it for later. Mm, beetle protein, protein. Good stuff. Hmm. <laughs> so we have a very large box elder tree outside. And apparently, like, wherever there's box elder trees, there's just gonna be box elder beetles. It's just a thing. But they totally, they're harmless. They don't do anything. They just trundle about, and they're kind of cute. So, I just... I ignore them. Sometimes they just get trapped inside, and they just don't know what to do. And I'm like, well... Sucks for you. I usually will just put them outside, but right now it's, like, freezing outside. So, I just leave him alone. Although, the cat, however, does not share my compassion. If the cat finds them, they are protein. Lots of them. The carry probes! I feel like Nightbot should be a part of that Twitch probe world. Man, this is a tough pose. What the heck? Why do I gotta pick such tough poses? <laughs> Has no idea the beetle has hid a hidden agenda. I think so too. Nightbot and Twitch Probe are a thing. I mean, maybe it should just be all the bots, like Drunkbot. I don't really know Revlobot or Muxibot well enough, and I feel like they're not really impressing me. They're not really doing anything.
Ixcat says, keeping beetles in your house, huh? Seems like our house is bugged! Ah, huzzing! <laughs> Lol. Dude, run your own bot, if you can. Me6, Muxie, and Nightbot. Run them? Run them how? Like on a treadmill? I mean, yeah, I have Me6 on Discord, I have Muxie, and I have Nightbot. Like all for different purposes. Use Unkbot? Yeah, I'm using Unkbot now also. Um, Unkbot, I have called Drunkbot. And um, that's my main bot. Like, that's like actually the bot that does things. There's a bot program? <gasps> no! What are you telling me, J Squared? I can write my own bot? Phantom Bot is the name of the program. I'm still upset by whatever upgrade made um, Drunk Nightbot and Unkbot no longer recognize each other, like they can't trigger each other's commands anymore. So it's such a bummer. It was so much fun having them mess with each other. It was probably, I'm assuming, done to avoid recursive loops, where like one would trigger the other and trigger that one and trigger the other and they would just get stuck in a loop, like triggering each other forever. Like, if you really don't know what you're doing, I could see them just looping. Random bot. It runs on your computer. You make it do what you tell it to do. Um, and it has the plugins. Cool. Let's check that out. Uh... Whew, that's difficult. Drawing the curve of a wakasashi, and then drawing the blood groove on it, to like fit the curve, it's like so specific. That minute where I just have to like not think of anything else. I have to check on something. I want to make sure that I'm keeping the legs on Tracy Queen's couch consistent. Because I don't recall if I gave them um, caps on the legs or not. But I know I've drawn them before. So I just gotta check some previous pages and see. Couch consistency. Totally did close the tab by mistake and come back. Um, what are you on about? We're talking about probes and Twitch bots. Typical jail stuff. I wasn't gone for long, just closing other tabs. <laughs> Typical J squared stuff. I don't know, was I on about something? I meant to be, but sometimes I forget. And I just draw silently, and then I look up, and there's like a whole chat that I missed, and I'm like, oh god, I'm sorry, guys. 
I'm the worst. The worst. And how Jo makes crazy hard perspective. Uh, I make up crazy hard perspective. I completely BS and cheat my way out of it too. Hmm. I'll draw the hookah a little bit closer in because that's like outside of the cut mark. Dun, 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 dun. I meant to say didn't close the tab, but my wireless keyboard lagged and I missed the T. C. Oh, didn't close the tab. Wait. Hmm. I don't know what you mean, but I'm glad you're back. I was trying to be funny. Oh, as in, totally didn't do that thing I just did. Oh, but you did, didn't you? Didn't you? Admit it. I'm sorry, sometimes I don't always get things. I try. But, you know. I can only do so much. Found something for you? It's a present? You found a present for me? Is it a beetle? Tell the truth. If it's a beetle, you have to tell the truth or else it's entrapment. I saw that in a movie. Man, I love to torture myself with really, really friggin' difficult things to draw. 
and then not use reference when I'm drawing them. I don't know why. It's just like a thing that I do. Uh, seriously though, I really encourage using reference. Don't be a hero! Doesn't have to end like this. You can use reference. Double jointed fingers. Me? Yeah? Was I like bending them weirdly or something? Oh yeah, I totally do that, right? And you see my finger bend forward? Tigafaya. Tigaf. Tigafaya. Tigafaya. How am I saying that? Completely wrong? Anywhere near close? Tigafaya? Yeah? Wait, I don't know if that yeah was to my comment about my fingers bending backwards, or if it was to me trying to pronounce your name. Really sorry if I totally butchered it. Tiger fire, tiger fire. Ooh. Oh wait, no, that's Tracy saying it. Um, lol to the fingers, but tiger fire, just pronounced wrong. Okay, so like tiger fire. Tiger fire. Awesome. Yeah, I have pretty lowly fingers. Lolable fingers. That's the technical term. I have lowly finger syndrome. Oh, thanks so much for stopping by, Tagafire. I am a creative streamer. Um, and I do mostly... Most of my work is um, comic stuff. So, Oneshi Press is a company I co-founded with Lindsay G. And we have uh, three current projects, Tracy Queen, Pack, and Children of Gaia. Tracy Queen and Pack are both comic books. Children of Gaia is um, the fantasy epic series, and we have a lot of different types of projects from it. And we might also do like a comic book of it, um, but we have like art books and illustration books. So those are the three things that I usually stream. Although, uh, J Squared, I'm J Squared, he just subscribed to our Patreon. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to be working on a 30-minute uh, drawing for him. A little commission as a thank you to our subscribers. Are you a streamer, Tigafire? Tigafire?
Yeah, gamer mostly. Um, looking to use some creativity, but I'm not on your level. I mean, you know. Uh, oh, you just checked my site out. Awesome, thank you. With fake names and SS and SN. Eh. Wait, random users make you create. Random user me. It's a random user maker. You can use it to create random characters. What do you mean, J squared? With fake names and SSN and all that mess, I used it in a project to stimulate a, tra a person trying to steal names. What? <coughs> um. Oh, thank you so much for for coming by, Xcat. You have a great night. Enjoy the YouTubes. Um. Yeah, take care. Thank you. I'll be seeing you. Wait, J squared. I don't know what you're telling me about right now. It's freaking me out, though. What was that sound? Bag of fire followed. Hooray! Thank you. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. We're now part of the Dre crew. Um, just look at it later. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll leave that that open. Um, why would I want to come up with random user data? That sounds like something trolls would do. Sounds like trolling business. I mean like fake accounts and stuff? Coming up with random user data? But what what's random user data? Why would I want to be a random user? I'm so specific. Um, no, for sure, in places where you need random names and data. For use in places where you need random names and data for the arts. Oh, okay. Like, for fake characters and stuff? Like, fictional characters, I mean? I could see that. That's interesting. Okay, J squared. I'm almost done with this. Um, I'm going to take another little quick break just to switch gears when I'm done with this page. And then I will start on your, your subscription commission.
you are the first person to subscribe um, on stream. Like an actual live subscription. Yay, J squared! Woo! It can also be really bad having like double jointed fingers and really like grippy toes and like, you know, almost like opposable, like, you know what I mean? Like I have, I can like grab things and pick things up with my feet. I can even like throw rocks with my feet, um, barefoot of course. So like, I have to be careful when I'm drawing feet not to like make what are supposed to be like typical, like normal characters' feet look like mine, because my feet are very like, you know, can grab and stuff. Same thing with fingers, like, you know, you pointed out that I have like, double jointed fingers. I have to be careful not to give all my characters double jointed fingers like mine, because, you know, the most common thing to do, I think, is to reference yourself, right? Because you are right there with yourself all the time. But, um, you know, you run the risk when you do that of like, if there's something odd about you, then you make that odd about all of your characters, and it could just make it look like you don't know what you're doing. I swear, I know something. I know something about what I'm doing. Not all of it, but some of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Engineer, I'll be lurking. Lurking? Well, you're gonna be here in a few, right? When I go to start your thing? You're gonna stick around? Or if you want, I can wait till, like, like if you have to go and you have stuff to do, like, I can wait till another stream or something. It's up to you. I'm just about done with this one, and I'm gonna be done in like a minute, and then I'm gonna take a break. But if you want to wait, like whatever's better for your schedule. I mean, you're the you're the subscriber, so it's your commission. So whatever's better for you. We are truly honored for your support. Do not take that lightly at all.
fact, I think I'm only moments from being done with this page. Lurk, lurk, lurk. Done with this page. Done. We all think anyone can see this. Last panel. Thanks. Yeah, she's supposed to. You're supposed to look real scary there. Like you just woke up in a fit of uh, panic. Ah, what was that noise? I'll kill you. You know that kind of thing. You know, like you do. I'll fix up that middle panel a bit. Like I said in Photoshop, I'll tweak the angle on the face and whatever. Alright, <coughs> I'm going to take a little break. Uh, J squared, if you're still here when I get back, I can work on your thing. Otherwise, instead of taking a break, I'll just call it a night. What do you think? Gonna draw your thing? You're gonna be around? I wanna do it when you're around, so if you're not gonna be around, I'll I'll do it some other time.
Okay, so there is a subscriber bonus. Subscribers get um, 10 times the amount of payout. So, Jenny Williams and I am J squared will be made subscribers once I figure out how to do that. Oh, you should also get an unsubscribe bonus of 10,000 drakes. Okay, there we go. So, external subs, I will add... I'm... J... Word... And I will add... Williamson, is there anyone else here that's a subscriber? Or that's been here that's a subscriber? No, right? Let's see. Tracy, do you know of any other um, subscribers that come on to Twitch at all? Well, on my channel, at, specifically, on Twitch? I have to give J squared an extra 10,000, Jenny Williamson an extra 10,000. Ten thousand tricks. Hmm. Tricky trick question. Great logger types. Okay, so now Jenny Williamson has 10,101 drakes. I am J squared now has... Add a one in front of his one thousand one hundred. Animal Grim, what's going on? How are you? I was just thinking about calling it a night. Um, which actually, someone else on the chat is lurking right now, and I think they were going to be right back. Um, who just subscribed to our Patreon? So I got to give him a thirty-minute um, commission on the stream, and I was going to do that right now, but he's not responding. So, not sure what to do. I like just finished this page. I could show you what I did tonight. 
They have Nicola sleeping, and then he opens his eyes, so the next panel's like from Nicola's point of view. He looks around and sees Tracy like passed out snoring. He tries to sneak away while she's asleep, and she gets spooked and wakes up like, you know, whips her sword around and like jumps up like all warrior-like, and he's like cowering on the floor like, oh god. So, that's fun. Yeah, pokes with stick. Yeah. Yeah, well, anywho. So how are you doing? Good? Good? How was your night? What'd you do? Anything awesome? Anything horrible? Fight zombies? Oh, I think J-squared is gone now. Alright, so... I think, yeah, since J-squared is gone... I'm gonna... Work on his commission some other time. Uh, you worked on a painting for class today. Cool. Awesome. What kind of, uh, paint? Like, oil paints, acrylics... A value painting. Interesting. Like, just, like, building up, like, tones? Was it color, or was it, like, grayscale, or...? Acrylic. Awesome. Acrylic grayscale. Yep. Sweet. Was it like of something? Like a still life or, or like a portrait? Or was it just more like um, abstract and just about the actual values themselves? I hate painting from reference. Just let me create, paint some crazy shit out of my mind. Yeah. Awesome. Do you ever uh, stream? Do you ever stream your like your paintings and stuff? I think you're a you normally stream like games, right? Some random ass room from hell. You did on the seventh. Oh, you did a creative stream on the seventh. Is that your first creative stream? Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. I'm just looking at your um, your clips in your video. Sweet. I can check that out after I'm done. So, is that your first time um, streaming creative? I think actually doing a painting on stream? Abusing canvas. Yep. That's awesome. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm just pressing down until my fingertips are white. Like, I don't know why, but that's just how I draw. I guess that's how I was taught to draw. Um, so I'm just like abusing my hand and, and the paper. Like, stretch it out. Plan to stream the space painting assignment I have to do for class. Awesome. That's so... Isn't it, like, great, like, when you're streaming something that you need to be working on anyway, but, like, instead of just working on it alone, like, by yourself, quietly, you can, like, stream it, interact with people, or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I always just feel like it's a lot of fun to, like, do that. So, 
I'm not sure. I have to decide if I'm going to start something else, like another drawing, maybe a small thing. Um, or if I'm... Because I'm done with this page. So I'm either going to come back in a break and do something, like... I was thinking of just doing like a one-off like drawing of just like Tracy blowing a kiss or something real quick but I might just call it a night I hate to like go out on break and have anyone like wait for me to get back to then find out if I'm gonna continue streaming or not but I think I need to like stand up and stretch and see how I feel um, like exciting so all good all right well yeah yeah I think I'm gonna <laughs> I know I'm kind of silly but what can you do what can you do when you're just crazy like me um to take them breaks you do you do or like things will like break like you know a hand will just like spasm it off right off i don't break my hand well that's the way i look at it and my back you know all right so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna, gonna take a quick little break run with scissors yes exactly Crazy break team! I'm the writer, editor, and co-founder of Oneshi Prints. Hi, I'm JL Draco. I'm the illustrator, designer, and co-founder of Oneshi Press. Oneshi Press is an independent publisher of progressive, immersive, gorgeous books in print and digital formats. To start with, we'll be keeping three original concepts in production. Our first three are a graphic novel, a comic book, and an art book. Tracy Queen. Tracy Queen is a feminist, sex-positive, sci-fi graphic novel about a self-made porn star named Tracy. Who fights her way free of her grandfather's organized crime syndicate, only to get caught up in the porn industry politics and gang warfare. The fiercely independent, brilliant Tracy decides to fight her battles on her own terms. With the help of her best friend, a talking raccoon who happens to be an electrical engineer, she creates an army of cyborg clones to help her fight back against the forces of conformity, sexual repression, and evil. Pack. Our gritty, vigilante comic book with a surprisingly humane heart, 
Pack tells the story of a masked crime fighter named Patience. And the six dogs with whom he roams the dark streets of crime-ridden Brooklyn. Together as a pack, these ruthless vigilantes sniff out corruption. And deliver their own bloody form of justice to those who they decide deserve it. They put crime under the fang. The Great Nations of Rendaria. The Great Nations of Rendaria, our first art book, is an introduction to the vast fantasy universe that Oneshi Press is helping to create. This book serves as both backstory and introduction to a diverse, intricate universe in which its narrator, Jan Kazian, has become obsessed with preserving the memories of the greatest civilizations his world has ever known. The Great Nations of Rendaria is both a book in its own right, as well as an artifact from the larger story, Children of Gaia. Oneshi Press is creating a community of fans who enjoy progressive and immersive worlds like the ones that we're building, and we want to invite you to join us. We're using Patreon, a subscription-based crowdfunding platform, to accept support from fans who love gorgeous books and to give them rewards in return for their support. Our supporters can opt in to receive all kinds of goodies when they become part of the Oneshi community. Personalized letters and selfies from characters, 3D drawings, even cameos in our books. And access to exclusive works in progress as work continues on all of our projects. One of our favorite rewards, which is made possible by our patrons, is the weekly live stream during which JL streams live on Twitch TV as he creates art for our projects. Join me live every Tuesday night to watch me create art and to chat with me and other Aneshi Press fans and supporters. Watch in real time as the art takes shape. At Aneshi Press, we build immersive, progressive, gorgeous worlds. And you're invited to explore them. Come join us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! You're the best. You're awesome. We love you. You're so cool. Thank you.
All right, I'm back. If anyone's still here, um, switch this back over to traditional. And let's see, if anyone is still actually here, I might do a quick little drawing of Tracy Queen. Um, if not, then I'm just gonna call it a night. Uh, Hannibal Grimm is still here. How you doing, Hannibal? Her name card is still here. All right, so, and what do you guys think? You gonna stick around for a few if I do a little drawing? If not, if you're all cashing out, then I might cash out as well. Just relaxing and winding down at the moment. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so, project. Crazy Queen. Book one, page 14, date 2017, ah, uh, breaking graphite, 2017, oh, that is the worst looking seven ever, stupid graphite break, um, O2, 14, happy Valentine's Day, hence all the hearts. Bye. JL. Draco. Woo. That's me. I did this. I'm gonna go put this on my fridge. I'll be right back. No, I'm kidding. Um. Graphite, you displease me! Yeah, it's a little... Scrap paper, it'll do. That'll do, scrap paper. That'll do. Um... Here. I'm going to stop reusing the same pieces of tape all the time. They lose their tapiness. Somebody went to Zimtown. Zimtown. Where I want to be. I die. When I sing my last zoo, my last doom tone, when I can finally talk, when I sing my last doom song, I'm gonna be in Zimtown. I'm gonna sing the doom song. Doom, the doom, 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 doomy, doomy. All right, I'm gonna get some reference up here. I think. Oh yeah. Musica. I was missing it. Where's your music? Coming. This is mine. I think I could still pull off a decent Gur voice. Awesome, let's hear it. That was great! <laughs> I can sing the Doom song now. Let's see.
Mm -hmm. I stole it. I stole the Gur voice. I stole my music. What did you steal? Ah, we'll never know. We'll be doomed. Everything. Idea. Very rough idea. Taking this out. Imagining it. Picturing it. Not knowing if it'll work. On a polar bear rug, Tracy? Isn't that illegal? And in poor taste? on to Discord. Uh-oh. What's happening on Discord? Hail Dre Crew. Animal Grim's in Toxies. Animal Grim, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. How are you? Can you, can you hear me? I can hear you. I do. <laughs> are you going to sing the juke? What? Do it. I'm gonna eat you. Are you gonna sing the Doom song? Can't hear you very well. Elbow, no. Oh, wow. That's pretty doomy. <laughs> what? That's pretty doomy. How's it going? It's going, it's going. So, yeah, I'm just sketching a little... I don't know, like, normally I do two pages on my, like, Tuesday and Thursday stream. I'll do, like, on my Tuesday stream, I'll do, like, two pages um, drawing. And then on my Thursday stream, I'll color those two pages. But this week, I decided to have a little bit shorter of a stream. Um, and... I already did page 13 in a sample that I did a while back, so I just did page 14. Um, so I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna do like a cute little quick drawing of Tracy. Um, that's what I'm doing now. Nice. Are you rocking a mechanical pencil or a lead holder? Um, so this is like, I guess it's a mechanical what do you call it? Like a some one of those like big thick graphite holders, like a two millimeter. Two yeah, millimeter I think it's like one one millimeter, something like that. I always use that just because like it gives me a nice softer line that's easier to erase when I'm like starting a sketch. Yeah. That's the lead holder. Yeah, the lead holder exactly. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of those myself. Yeah, yeah. And then when I want to do. I, I 
can't draw for shit, but I love them. Ah, yeah, I mean, dude, if, if you like drawing, like, that's what matters. And if you get, if you like drawing, you're going to draw a lot, right? And if you draw a lot, you're going to get better at it. That's what I think. That's what I tell myself. Like, I really like okay. doing this. I'll get better. I'm taking life drawing this semester. Nice. Yeah. I Is apparently there... rock at mass gesture, that's all I know. <laughs> at what gesture? Mass gesture. Mass? Okay, cool. Awesome. Just, just give me a big piece of compressed charcoal and just... Just throw down, apparently, bust it out. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I fucking hate buying charcoal with a passion, and that's what <laughs> I was using most of the time. Yeah. Shit. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess there's a reason for it. Like, I don't know. It's really uh, hard <laughs> to use. Uh, think, you I know, think, so. I, I think the entire. I just look at it as trying to work on not putting so much goddamn pressure on the <laughs> Right. <laughs> Which I keep failing at. Yeah, I've got a heavy hand too. Although actually, I think for some reason when I'm doing like my sketch work like I'm doing now, like... With the, the lead holder, like... It just... For whatever reason, like I just automatically reduce my pressure. But like, when I switch back to like... My regular mechanical, again, my hand just goes like, you know, pressing down until the graphite breaks and my knuckles are white, you know, like... WHERE'S THE LINE?! Right. Like, if you can't see the line from outer space, it's not a line. It's no line at all. Yeah. Actually, I, I just remembered, I fucking forgot to pick something up when I was at... In Hobby Lobby earlier, and that's those little white filter things for the pencil sharp for the lead lead sharpener or the lead pointer. Hmm. A filter for the lead pointer. I I, I call it a filter because it looks like a cigarette filter, but it's that little white piece that once you sharpen it, you stick the point in to get the little shavings off of the tip. Oh, uh, like a a cleaner kind of thing. Yeah. Hey. Oh, huh. Not sure if I've ever used this before. Sounds cool. Yeah, yeah it's, those things are awesome for uh, the lead for lead holders, man. So mm. just roll, you just, just man, stick, stick it in there, rotate it once, baby twice, and it's sharp as, sharp as fuck. <laughs> it's at that perfect point. Funny, I actually never like I never like learned to draw with the lead holder. Like I never like none of my my teachers or anything were ever like, oh, this is how you draw the lead holder or anything like that. So like I just found one and like started drawing with it. And like I don't know, I keep them dull. Like I actually like using it dull. Um just because I like to use it for like my really soft lines, you know, like um, yeah. to get like, you know, just to rough out like a shape or whatever. Um, and then I use like a, you know, my super sharp like my little zebra. It's like a 0.5 millimeter. Um, I don't know if you've ever used zebra before, but they make a pretty cool uh, mechanical pencil. I use that for like my like I go back over it. You'll see in a minute. Um, just like sharpen everything up, like detail wise. I think I have one of those. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. I love them. Yeah. They just have those like really nice, like fine tips and the like the little metal sheath that goes right around the piece of graphite. So, like, because I'm terrible. Like, I if I use one that has like a plastic tip, there's no way that graphite will last more than half a second. Like, by the time it like gets near the paper, it's already broken somehow. They just, yeah, like, see they, the paper coming and they break in terror, you know? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, God! What's happening? Just just break, man. Someday I do need to stream just when I play around with ink and ink washes, because that shit's fun as hell. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll drop you a link of what I did for my fucking final for drawing one. Cool. You have you have it online somewhere? Yeah, I think I'm like one of the last like three people that uses Dropbox. Oh no, I, I use Dropbox. Ah, the other one. <laughs> I'm the other one, right? <laughs> totally. I'm the other guy. Somewhere out there, there's another. What? I thought Dropbox was like cool. No. I love it. But like, do people not use it anymore? Am I that out of the loop? I don't know. Somebody what gave me shit one day. Like, yeah, what the what hell, hell is this? Like, this fucking Dropbox is what we used back in the day. It's the shit. That Dropbox was still cool. Now I'm all self-conscious. <laughs> Well, you got no, shit like uh, Google Docs and fucking oh yeah, A A M Imgur and Instagram. Like everybody used to use an Instagram. Yeah, but I mean, you can't do like good like file transfers in Instagram. I'm like, I'm also one of the few people on the planet that doesn't enjoy having a, that doesn't enjoy cell phones, so I don't use Instagram. Right. I actually, my cell phone is like a paperweight. Like it, it doesn't do my, anything. My, my the last cell phone I had that's it's not active, but it's like a mini version of my fucking tablet. <laughs> it's just a pocket tablet to me, man. If I'm near somewhere with Wi-Fi, woo! Like when right. I go to donate, when I go to donate blood, I'm gonna sit there and watch a movie on that thing. Yeah, I my cell phone, like, if I try to, like, open a picture on it, like, if someone sends me a picture in a text and I try to open it, it'll just, like, spin and then crash. There you go, man. But it's just, like, I don't know. I'm just so against the idea of, like, disposable digital technology. Like, it's such bullshit. I mean... A, it's, like, stupid expensive to, like, just be like, oh, yeah, it's June, I better go buy another smartphone, you know? Like, what? But then also, like, all the heavy metals and, like, ingredients, like, are just being disposed of, like, you know what I mean? It's just so shitty. You really need the iPhone Infinity. I mean, apparently some people really do, so... I don't know. I'm like, with, I'm like that with computer parts, but every couple of years. <laughs> There's buy a so you, buy so you don't have to buy the next one. <laughs> right, right. Just get like one that's good enough that it'll last for a few years. But then there's always like something new comes out that you like that they just didn't anticipate, quote unquote. Or they yeah. planned on not anticipating, you know? This is, this is the first time I've actually bought a uh, video card like within the first year it came has come out and, oh yeah and, uh, i picked up the 1070. oh uh, yeah i am anticipating i won't have to buy it again i've yet to like i'm kicking myself <laughs> the one thing i kick myself on is when i built my current rig i didn't i didn't wait a few months <laughs> because like a few months after I after I built the thing, the uh, the uh, what is it? The Skylake processors came out, and I um, like one pin off from the socket set that my processor uses. Right. So, yeah. The once only, the only gain on that thing really is the ability to use DDR4 RAM. And I just can't justify upgrading the CPU and motherboard. Yeah, I mean, once that happens, it's like, okay, whole new computer time again, you know. And the the processors that have come out so far, I just don't see. Like, there's a couple of them that are a little bit faster than the one I've got, and it's if I really wanted, I can just fucking overclock mine, like the the like couple of notches up. <laughs> And get it because you got a fucking liquid cooler on that bitch. Yeah, I, I'm kind of like in that boat right now where I'm like, my processor is a bit on the old side, and my motherboard, you know, like, 
I'm like, shit, if I go, if I go there, like, updating the processor, then I have to update my motherboard, and then I have to worry about, like, well, what else is working now with my motherboard that won't work if I update that? And, you know, it's like the whole... What, what do you got? Um, I haven't... I don't actually I remember the name, the specific, um, model. It's been, like... Five years since I bought it, but it was like an AMD um, eight core or something. I'm willing to bet it's an AM3 plus, and they haven't released a new socket in hmm. ever. They're still they're still like hanging. They they're still everyone's still waiting for the AM4 to get released. <laughs> right. In so, which case, I mean, that's, that's, that's the thing I love about AMD, though. Yeah. They they will. They've got the FX, the, they're the, what is it, the FM or FX processors. But FM2 is the other socket that they have, and... Yeah, mine is an that's, FX. That's, that's, oh, it's an FX? Yeah, the FX um, 8150, 8 core. I'm pretty sure that's still... That's still an AM3 plus, but I'm gonna check that shit. I'm just like dreading, like, oh yeah, I'll get the thing that fits, you know, this motherboard, and then like next week the new one will come out, you know? <laughs> like you said. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was the case I ran into. I mean, that happens all the Like, I always hear people say that, just like cursing the heavens, you know? Well, that's more of a case with Intel than anything, because they have eight gajillion different fucking socket sets, man. Right, right. Sure, hey, uh, your, here's your 1150... And your 1151... Guess what? You're gonna buy the 1150 processor, and we're gonna release the cool shit on 1151. Wait, what? Um, I'm ripping on Intel's for my mindset. Oh, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> they're bastards. Oh, yeah. I mean, they've perfected this, like... I'm pretty sure when I do that, like, if I were to upgrade the next, like, big thing, they'd kick it back to the 2011 version 3 or version 50 gajillion before whatever the hell they're on. Like, wait a second. Someone just bought our latest processor. Come out with a new one immediately! Yeah, dude, that's a, your your processor's on the AM3 Plus. If you were to upgrade that thing, yeah, you'd still be good with your board. Wait, I think I just got a follow, but I think my Listen. my alerts didn't go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I gotta do it because I heard it. Lara hey, Amoto. <laughs> Lara Amoto, thank you so much for the follow. How are you? Hey, listen! Hey! Look, listen! Hey! Hey! It used to drive me nuts. Yeah. Navi. When I worked customer support, one of my supervisors had that as his, like, phone alerts. Oh, nice. And it kept <laughs> going off. <laughs> and the day I realized, the day he put that on there, and it kept going off, I, I, I stood up, looked around, looked at the room. He's like, what? I look at him. They just look up and go, "What? Do I have a tumor, or is there, a, is there a fucking knobby back there?" There's an, yeah. I so, saw um, a piece of fan art that someone did of like Link, like in a straitjacket, locked up in a room, and like. Oh, I've seen. It just said like, "Hey, listen!" on the walls like a thousand times. Lara says. You're welcome. Hope you guys are. Hope you guys are too. I like what you're working on. Um, what inspired this one? Oh, thanks so much. So, um, I just finished doing a page from the comic book Tracy Queen, which is one of our Oneshi Press projects. Let's see if I could zoom out and show you that. And I had some extra time left over, so I just decided to do, like a little, I don't know, just random drawing of Tracy Queen. Um, let's see. This is the page I just... Oh, that's like way, way out. Okay. This is the page I just finished tonight. 
when I finish the line art of Thursday night, I'll be coloring it. And it's a pretty crazy story. She has her own website with a blog um, by her, and on her blog she has, uh, let's see, I think, I think I remember the command, TQ. and yeah, so I'm just doing like, you know, maybe she'll use this on one of her blog posts, um, I'm not sure. Or maybe I won't use this for anything, but it's just fun. Oh, cool, thank you. Are you watching fucking Fantasia? This is from, uh, let's see, Final Fantasy, I forget which one. I think it's Final Fantasy IX or something. Which I haven't played, but I just got this, like, collection of Final Fantasy music called Distant Worlds, and it just has, like, music from, you know, a whole bunch of the different Final Fantasy games. I, I know of that album. Of Distant Worlds? I, yeah. Yeah. I never really got into Final Fantasy. I have, I have Doug 7. I love the hell out of Tactics. And yeah. And I the shit out of 14. Yeah, I think I played, like, Final Fantasy 6 VI and 7, um... My enjoyment for Square Games was with Secret Amana and Chrono Trigger. Oh yeah, dude, Chrono Trigger. Totally. Nectar of the Gods, PBR, yep, it's true. Nectar of the Gods with not a ton of money. But, you know, uh, we do what we can. I learned I learned something awesome though. If you're ever on a video, if you're ever on a panel for being in the video game industry, and they ask and people ask you what's your favorite game, just say Mega Man and Chrono Trigger. Oh yeah. <laughs> and everybody will everybody will flip their shit and go woo. Awesome, dude. Mega Man X. I I played that game until my thumbs bled. <laughs> yeah, man, Mega Man Two. Mega Man 2, yeah. I the best music. I think it was up to Mega Man. The music was awesome up until Mega Man. But, and then it just kind of tailed, trailed off. You mean like the original, like Mega Man's, like. Yeah, the. the like, yeah, super, yeah. like regular Nintendo? Mega, Mega Man 2 and 3 had some of the best fucking music. It does the job. I know I cannot. I did in college on low funds. Never again. Yeah, you know. Sometimes. Gotta make sacrifices. We all have that's, sacrifices to make. That's my life right now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But you're like taking classes now, right? Yeah, taking classes and investing in what I want to do. Yeah, <laughs> so. This semester I get to buy a decent drafting table and a diesel and a bunch of paints and shit. Acrylics! Not a fan. <laughs> Acrylics? Steak. Just, just give me a ink and a, yeah, and a cup of water, and I'll and I'll have a fucking field day. So you said you're considering streaming one of your um, like oh, the, uh, inks, um, but you haven't yet, right? That that uh, acrylic was the last. Uh, I, I've got like no. I'm, I'm looking forward to Friday. <laughs> Friday to next to the following Thursday. Not a goddamn class. <laughs> so I'm gonna be working on stuff and that can stream a bunch during that during next week. I used to stream a lot, but that was with games and shit. I used to stream a decent amount of H1Z1 and uh, they get stuff that I don't like in that game. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I've never, like, really gotten into game streams. Um, They're fun to a point, and then, at least for me, it's, I, I like doing it, but after a while, it's like, I just got better to want to create stuff. Yeah. I, I just want to do something more. I mean, you know... I also, I also found out that creative is, like, the complete whole opposite of game. <laughs> is the complete what? Near, total opposite? Complete, total opposite. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Because there's no salt whatsoever over here. It's glorious. No salt. No salty max. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's weird because like a lot of the people that I know that are creative streamers, I feel like most of the ones that like are the. I guess the more popular ones also stream games. I was like, man, should I like pick up a game to stream? But then I'm like, but I just want to draw. I just want to make things. I don't want to be distracted by anything else. And I know if I start a game, I'll get sucked into it. And then like, I'll want to do it more. And then like, I'll be doing art less. The games I overall love playing, to me, I find them to be I just would imagine they're boring as hell to watch. Like, I love Life is Futile. I love that game to death. But it's, it's a whole lot of, uh, yes, yes I am. It's a little uh, it's, hobby. It's, uh, very, it's very grindy of a game. But it's, it's very, the more time you put into that game, the more rewarding it is. And it's all player-driven content. Tracy is asking if you're an FT student, Hannibal. I don't know what FT student means. Full time, and I did answer it. Oh, uh, I, snuck, I snuck the answer in there. Yes, yes, Tracy, I am a full time student. What is D, uh, Lyra? What is, what is that? L D N, G A F. I feel like that's an acronym, or. Uh, abbreviation that I am probably supposed to know, but for some reason I just don't. There a lot of those things I don't know. I'm over 30. I don't speak acronym anymore. Or am I just reading it wrong because I don't have my glasses on? Well, what you? It says Idngaf. Lidngaf? What does it mean? All I know is I, I see AF in there, so um, somebody swore. Somebody what? Somebody swore? Yeah. AF as fuck. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. I mean, I usually try to try to know what most of the abbreviations mean, but sometimes I just, you know, can't keep there, up with there, them all. There are some classes where I'm like that. Elucidating jail. I'm not saying, not saying I D G A F to Hannibal. Oh, I literally do not give a fuck. Oh. I was like, wait, what? I read that out of order. Um, I see. I literally do not give a fuck. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Now I know a new thing. All I know is if I see A and F, I know what that means. So. Yeah, but in this case, it was give a fuck, not as fuck. They both have a... True. Stupid graphite! So tiny. Why can't you be strong? <laughs> Why can't you be strong? <laughs> Alright.
Yeah, so I don't really have anything in mind for this particular drawing. I just felt like doing something, and I figured since it's a Tracy Queen stream, I should do a little Tracy Queen drawing. Actually, someone before subscribed to Aneshi Press, and I was gonna... Um, all of our subscribers get, like, a little uh, commission. You know, like, if you subscribe at $5, you get a 15-minute drawing of whatever you want, as long as it fits the Twitch, you know, terms of service, etc. Like, uh, I don't know, uh, 10 minutes would get you, a, a, a $10 would get you a 30-minute drawing. Amongst our, you know, many other rewards and prints and things like that. But, um, the guy that subscribed, I was like, okay, I finished the page, I'm gonna start on your commission now. And he, he like, left. He had to go to bed or something. <laughs> I was like, damn! So I was like, oh, I still want to draw for a little bit. So now I'm just drawing this just as like a fun kind of whatever study, I guess. And uh, I'm rambling. I do that, sorry. Oh, crap. I need to. I just remembered I gotta do something real quick, but I can still stay on here while I do it. I have to do a quiz for my for the environmental science class because for some reason something revolving around the environment is required for art credit in my one of my for art credit? And, no, 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 no. I'm basically doing just the generals. Oh, okay. okay. Taking a bunch of art classes because I like to even out the course there are the required ones and then there's the ones i just want to fucking do ones right. i want to do because damn it they're awesome okay so you're not like you're not majoring in in art then you're, you're like taking them just because you can yeah just just because i can i was teetering on studio art but i'm gonna in the fall i'm transferring to a closer closer school and i'm gonna go into screenwriting screenwriting cool I love movies, and I like crazy shit. And if they can adapt, if seeing as seeing the movies that have been made over the last few years, I, I think I could actually do something. <laughs> yeah, the hard part is the uh, golden rule, you know. He who has the gold makes the rules. I think that's a yeah. lot of what's going around in the movie industry right now. Hey, if I, if I can laugh at them when they propose something stupid, it's worth it. We want to make this change. <laughs> I'll laugh just like that. <laughs> I hope you do. Damn. You can have all the money in the world, you're still human. <laughs> just, just, just saying. <laughs> Can't take it with you. Can't take it with you. <laughs> Technically, could. I mean, be good you can... than grave robbers. Right. We or mean, future archaeologists like Indiana Jones, aka grave robbers. See? <laughs> you can't take it with you. Eventually, have... someone will come for it. People have tried. That shoots in museums or private collections now. Yeah, because of grave robbers. <laughs> exactly. That was a couple of classes I, I had a blast in doing uh, anthropology. Anthropology is awesome. Fun. My instructor was awesome. Like the first two weeks was just him ripping on the HD on this guy. And then and uh, creations. That was nice. priceless. I keep bumping into him, which is more awesome. <laughs> so and he's a fellow nerd, so yeah. Uh, he, play, he plays Pathfinder with another friend of mine. He plays what? Oh, Pathfinder. It's a tabletop role playing game. Okay, cool. Forensic science was not as interesting or fun as I thought it would be. Hmm. That's disappointing to hear. The, the entire course. Could have been could have been taught in five minutes by just going. Yeah, you see that CSI shit? 
the it's a whole bunch of people, not just not just five, not just those, not not just those guys. Right, right. It's like a lot more compartmentalized, right? Dexter was more accurate. <laughs> not by not by much, but had a little more. Yeah, it's just like they, she didn't let us play with any of the equipment. Really, I was disappointed. I've decided that I'm not going to draw the keys on this keyboard. I don't hate myself that much right at the moment. Yeah. I'm just going to, like, rough them out. Just make pretensies. Good enough. What I found to be the bane of my existence when it comes to drawing. What's that? Linear perspective. Linear perspective. Um. Just my eyes. It just fucks with my eyes when I'm working on it. Yeah. Yeah. I tend to just like let my eyes blur out and just kind of feel the shape. <laughs> if that makes any like, sense. I, I got him. I don't know how I, it, it got accepted. All I did was draw a cube with a fucked up looking face on <laughs> With a what? I just made like some like... I made a cube... At an angle. With like some Minecraft looking face on it. Nice. And I, I, I passed it. I, I got an okay grade on it, so I'm... <laughs> well, I would have liked to have seen more shading. I don't care, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Oddly enough, that one thing I I accidentally got some pers like a one point perspective in that one in that final project that I that I linked you on Discord. Oh yeah, that was just pure accident. And it was funny because they have those critique periods, and I think the only one standing there going. Eh. I don't care much, just what do what you, you think? think? Okay. And, like, everybody loved it, and like, yeah, that, that's not that's supposed to be a road, that was just a fucking accident. <laughs> I, that was, oops, it just didn't turn out the way, it's all happy accident. Like, aww. It looks kind of like, like horror themed. That was your, um... Was that your thing that you streamed? No, right? That was... No, no. I'm gonna do... This is ink wash. What you streamed is acrylic, did you say? Yeah. I, right. I was working on... I don't know. Working on trying to do... the like Battle of LA picture. So that's what I was streaming. Then that painting. I still have to finish that up. But I... There's a couple of things I want to do differently. Yeah, I feel like there should always be a couple things you want to do differently, though. Yeah, I just, the hill, like, looking at it now, the hills are a little too high up. And I wanted, I was looking at a few videos in a couple of different ways. I can do the clouds better. But you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you're ever at a place where, like, you stay happy with something that you made a while ago, it means you're probably not pushing yourself hard enough but that's me i'm also a jerk to myself i don't advise it necessarily <laughs> i don't know i need to stop looking at my right because i fucking hate that painting i did earlier the painting you did earlier oh it's like to your right in the room you're in or whatever it's chilling on the easel yeah He's looking over it's like yeah, i've got the like reference to it like that's gonna be fun to explain tomorrow well, it's also important, right, to, like, like it enough that you want to do more. But to not like it enough that you want the next thing you do to be better. That's, like, the I, balance. I think, I think the entire yeah. purpose of it, he said, was to get, just to play with grays. I think I got enough grays, but there's one spot on that son of a bitch that I gotta, that I'm gonna do something to. It's just too goddamn flat. 
I, I told him because we did a what was it? We did a mixing exercise, and he had us like the the assignment was doing it all geometric shapes. <laughs> I looked at him and when I finished it. I'm like, I fucking hate geometric shapes. Just let me do organic, man. Just, just, just let me go crazy with the brush. Uh, uh, I hate triangles. I hate circles most of all. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck fucking shit. circles. Fuck you, circles. Just let me thin it down to as close to ink as I can and just let me go crazy. I may paint the people sitting to either side of me, but it'll be awesome. Uh, just hand out little, like, raincoats. <laughs> We're going Gallagher in this bitch. <laughs> You know, like those little plastic ones that you get, like, Punch like in the, all around. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when you're at the zoo or something and it rains. I don't know. I'm trying to think where you get those from. I wear hoodies like twenty four. I wear hoodies like every day of the year. <laughs> I wore, I wore a hoodie in the middle of Flor in Florida in the in the middle of summer. That was a fun experience. Damn. I got an art artist friend who <laughs> loves talking about that because he was sweating balls off. Feet. I was there not sweating a goddamn bit. <laughs> Do not even. Yep. You know. How kind of any person are you using? None, I'm just born this way. Fuck off. What's also funny is, I was able to do that for like middle of summer here where I'm living now. It just gets too goddamn hot in my room. Like <laughs> the one spot I don't want to leave because it's toasty. What area are you living in? I mean, you don't have to tell me that. Obviously, it's the internet. Minnesota. I'm just curious. Minnesota? Okay. Yeah, I'm in. Uh... I'm, over, I'm an overweight 35. <laughs> <laughs> you look at me. 81, baby? Nobody, nobody's gonna mess with me. <laughs> Are you in the 81 baby club then? What? It, 1981? 82. Oh, uh, okay. Close enough. You get a pass. I grew up in the 80s. It was awesome. Yep. Yep, I'm an 81 baby. We had good movies, good cartoons. You Great video violent. games. You can, you can be violent as hell <laughs> and still have a good story. <laughs> oh, oh, the God. Super Nintendo. That was 90s, dude. We had a bit Nintendo. Dude, I had ColecoVision. I'm just saying I was at the right age to really appreciate Super Nintendo when I got it. You know what I mean? You got me beat. I, my first was uh, NES. Yeah, my first real gaming system was an NES, but before that I had a ColecoVision. Dude, ColecoVision? Oh my god, the Smurfs game on ColecoVision was just like out of fucking control. It's out of this world. If you've never seen it, there's a, a YouTube video of someone doing like a playthrough. It's like impossible like you like move like two squares and hit a piece of grass and die and like there's like you know no directions the game physics are like you just have to like magically be in the perfect exact right spot and jump on like the exact right angle to jump over the grass or you die like it's just crazy. Like, before they really knew how to make like good gameplay at like even remotely you know. Oh man. By the time like Super Nintendo came out, I was just like, oh my god, this is amazing. This is a yeah, that, magical thing. That, that game came out in the boom that the dreaded E.T. game came out in. Oh man, E.T. So they actually, the story is, the designers weren't finished with the game, right? But the producers like promised that it would be out by Christmas. To like the marketing department so like they just pushed it ahead anyway and like 
the programmers were like, no, it's not done yet. You can't release it. And they were like, ah, it's good enough. Who's going to care? It's E.T. They'll buy it anyway. Turned out, like, tons of people bought it just because of the name. And I ended up, like, throwing them out. There's, like, a landfill somewhere just filled with, like, the E.T. games. It's so it's fucked up. It might still be on Netflix. There's a documentary of them discovering that. <laughs> like, yeah, oh yeah. They, they, they perform like an archaeology dig. <laughs> and they found like a huge like tomb or something. Yeah. Raiders of the Lost ET. It, it's not a myth. We knew it actually happened. Like, yeah, it uh, is. Apparently, apparently, a few younger younger generations thought it was a myth, and now they're like, oh, no, that was actually true. That's what happens when you make too much of a bad thing. Too much no, man, I had that game. I was sure that there was a way to beat it if you could just figure out how to play it. Oh, man. The hours wasted on a game that didn't work. What a piece of shit. <laughs> that, that's so horrible. That's an example of what happens with the golden rule in charge, you know, like... When someone that, like, knows nothing about the actual product makes the decision just because they have, like, the, the salary to do so. I feel like I might have made her hair too volumey. Like, I might have exaggerated a bit. Ah, whatever. It's just supposed to be a fun piece anyway. I shouldn't be overthinking it. I'm gonna be a little bit quiet for a few minutes because I'm gonna knock out that quiz I gotta do. Okay. I'm actually probably finishing up. I got multiple monitors. I got. I'm watching out of the periphery. Mm -hmm. Wait, is Tracy Queen an 82 baby also? What do you mean by that, Tracy? Tell me! Tell me! Tracy's an 82 baby. All right. Woo! It's so epic.
which of the following plant communities has the highest species diversity? B, all of the above. No, D, <laughs> I mean. Earth. Earth. Not a fan of having to take environmental courses. I get environmental course because I just don't give a shit. Shit's fucked. End of story. Dear environment, we are sorry. We people mm -hmm. before me fucked up. Which means I continue the fuck up of it. And people beyond me is gonna continue fucking it up. Sorry. Well, uh, uh. I think that's, uh, it's done. I don't know what else to do to it. Oh, it's good. Takes two people to make a piece of artwork. One to make the piece of artwork, and one to club them on the back of the head when they're done. Stop it, it's perfect! Just leave it alone, crack! <laughs> what was really fun is when you do a piece of artwork and you look at it in its actual form, then you look at it on your stream and you're like, hey, that looks better on the stream than it does in front of me. <laughs> what? Yeah, really? I hope so. This is what happened with the uh, painting that I did on the 7th. What I was working on, I was like looking at it like, eh, it looks better on the internet. I'd like to think that. That's cool. I'm just gonna think that from now on. I'll just feel better being like, yeah, it looks better to them. I'm always worried because I think like, oh, my webcam probably isn't picking it up as well. It probably doesn't look as good. But maybe that makes it look better. You know, it's like. A little out of focus, soften the lines a bit, you know? So, that's what I got. I don't know, is that focused for you? Like, is that in focus? Looks focused to me, man. I feel like on my preview through OBS, it looks like blurry as hell. Like... Two horned lizards of a single species fighting over access to an anthill. Their yes. major food source is an example of blank. Something I want to watch. That's uh, cool. <laughs> I was gonna say like competition or something, but like, damn. Yeah, probably like reality TV, right? <laughs> Successful <Something>. reality TV. <laughs> it's an example of something I would find amusing and awesome to watch an animal planet. Oh, it's an example of the Thunderdome. Come on, dude. Exactly. Two lizards enter, one lizard leaves. Who run the town? Spiky lizard run barter town. <laughs> um, maybe a little bit of autofocus, rename card says. Yeah, what the hell, autofocus? So I have autofocus on, maybe that's the problem. Maybe autofocus is being a turd. Whoa. Yeah, I turned that shit off on my own. I hate that autofocus crap on my... What, what, what camera are you using? I am using a Logitech C930E for my art cam. Um, my face cam is a C615. So I've got the uh, C920. Nice. Here we go. Yeah, I think that looks better, right? It's in better focus now. Yeah. Fuck the autofocus. Autofocus is bullshit. Bullshit, Mr. Handman. Mr. Hand. Yeah, that's um, Mr. Handman. That's uh, the guy from Enter the Dragon with the claw hand. And then, um, yeah, anyway, Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee movie. Badass. And very funny. The guy is like, he jumps in and he's like, I don't remember exactly what the dialogue was, but like, the guy with the hand is like telling him that he's gonna like, whatever. 
about his little conspiracy plans. And the guy's just like, that's bullshit, Mr. Handman. Man, you come right out of a comic book. It's a very funny dialogue. A movie of that era, you know. Very era appropriate. There's so many things I don't know the answer to this question. Too bad this is multiple choice. Tracy wants to know, do the lizards throw wine on each other? Because she'd watch the hell out of that. I guess. I don't know. You know, like, which lizards the, splashing wine in each other's faces. Which of the following is true of, about top predators? They will fuck shit up. <laughs> what were the... Was it multiple choice? Yeah. What are the choices? They are... They are likely to be producers. They are, they are often keystone species. They, they are likely to be herbivores. Their removal increases biodiversity. They include bacteria and fungi. I know the answer. I, the internet knows the answer. They're awesome. They're likely to be awesome. Now they're definitely keystone species. I saw Jurassic Park. That's all I need to know. Their removal will never increase biodiversity because of the predation cascade. Removal of apex predators will always fuck up the environment. Period. Also, Skynet has you. You have been warned. Son of a bitch. Stupid Skynet! Alright, guys, I think I'm Dunsy, Dunsy, Dunsy. And with that, I am going to bid you all adieu. Rename card, what do you think? I think I need to fix this face up in Photoshop. It's supposed to look like kind of cartoonishly exaggerated. Like she's like snoring, just like. Ah! But, like, I th think it's just a little, like, not right on the... Like, I feel like I need to take, like, the liquify tool and just, like, bring her... Make her have less of a snout and twist her head up. Put her head's back more. Other than that, I think I'm okay with this page. It's a job done. I like that panel. I think it's funny. You know, what a raccoon sees when he opens his eyes hungover in the morning. We've all had days like that, right? And then, you know, trying to sneak away from your sleeping host. Who then jumps up in a psychotic rage fit. Yeah, you can tweak it. Yeah, I've got it. Cool man, good stuff. Thanks. Alright, well. Rename card, Tracy, Hannibal, whoever else might still be here, or might not still be here. Even if you're not here. Everybody, you have a great night. I'll catch you later. Yeah, yeah, totally. Thanks for joining the uh, Discord also. That's cool. No problem, buddy. No problem. No problem, buddy. Well, you have a good night, and good luck with your your quiz. And remember, Google knows all the answers. Oh, I know. <laughs> I fucked it up, though. But there's like three retries, so, and they're all the same questions anyway. Well, is it a like written test, or is it a digital test? Like, is it electronic? It's electronic. Yeah. They didn't even have that shit, like, the last time I took a class. <laughs> it's like, you know, one day, people are just going to take tests on their computers. Yeah, right, that'll never happen. Because then how are you going to stop people from cheating? People cheat anyway, dumbass. So the, I've, I've only had it in one class, when that was the art history class. It's like, oh, all right, no use, no open book, no open book on this one. This is not oh, my class. class. Right. How are you going to tell <laughs> if I <laughs> Yeah. I'm resourceful. That's what I'm that's what I'm learning from this class. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, it's real world training, right? Real world people are resourceful. <laughs> people look shit up on Google in the real world. It's just what happens. <laughs> Alright. Shining off the Twitch. Peace out, y'all. Thank you all so much. Oh no, did Pink really just stop by just as I was about to sign off? Pink! Why? Now what do I do? Is Pink the uh, subscriber? No, no, no. Um, I think uh, the subscriber actually like went to bed, so I'll just, you know, I'll figure out a time with him when I can work on his commission. But I think I just saw... Oh, okay. I think I saw Pink pop up in my viewers list, but then maybe went away? Failed to load. Showing a 26 minute old list. No, it's showing that Pink is here. Pink! Well, I could, I'll at least show you what I did tonight, Pink. I'm about to sign off. You can't, can't sign off, the internet has you! <laughs> The internet has me. Every time I'm like, all right, I'm going to go, someone will pop on and be like, hey. hey. So I worked on Tracy Queen, page 14. There's little Nicholas sleeping. And he opens his eyes all bleary and sees the carnage from the night before. Then looks over and sees Tracy Queen sleeping. He tries to sneak away. She wakes up to her cell phone ringing and jumps into a fighting stance and he dodges and, terrified for his life, hides in the floor. So I'll be coloring this on Thursday. And then, I had some time left over, um, so I just did this. Just a little Tracy blowing a kiss. That's all. Little, little sweet Tracy. And now, my carriage is gonna turn into a pumpkin or something, you know, as the expression goes. Okay, for realsies now. Good night, y'all. Peace out.